Okay, so this video is partially clickbait, but it's not really unless you consider YouTube as a real job. YouTube recently has stopped every YouTuber that has less than 1,000 subscribers from earning money and that evidently has stopped me from earning money from any of my videos. So, I mean, yeah, if you think about it right now, right, it doesn't really affect me in a lot of way because I'm not really earning that much money. But, but if you think about it from a currency perspective, so you see, I'm from Malaysia, right? And the money I'm earning right now from YouTube is in USD. So, this currency to this currency, it's about ratio of four, right? So one ring, one dollar is about four ringgit, but I think now it's about three point eight. I, I don't know. Never mind. But it, it's a lot of money for something that I'm doing for fun, you know, like hobby kind of thing. To be honest, when I started this channel, I wasn't thinking about earning money to that extent yet because, quite frankly, I don't know if. I, how, how far I will go with this but I am very I'm enjoying myself making all kinds of content for you guys you know as viewers and you know if you guys really like the things I do please support this channel because if I can reach more than 1,000 subscribers in the future or maybe 10,000 100,000 I, I don't know I might consider this as a full-time thing but for now I cannot and I have to have my own proper you know 9 to 5 kind of job to pay off my living expenses <laughs> So, for the time being, everything I'm doing right now on this YouTube channel is more like a part-time thing. So, you, that's why I only can upload like maybe twice a week, maybe once a week, at, you know, on average and stuff. So, that is basically the living situation of this channel. I'm pretty sure they have their reasons for why they want to, you know, stop all the YouTubers from earning money unless you hit 1,000 subscribers and stuff. So, whatever their reason is, I'm pretty sure they are very confident that it's the right thing to do, the right move for all YouTubers. But in all honesty, I am very serious about the whole entire I'm only doing this because I really enjoy making the content that I do uh, Pokemon, traveling, whatever it is, right? But what I really enjoy most from all of that is communicating with the community of YouTube So all you subscribers that have subscribed to my channel up to this point, right? Thank you so much for the support You guys have been phenomenal I love reading all the comments I try to respond as many as I can uh, But yeah, thanks for the positive response and some are quite negative on some. Feel free to comment anything you like and I will read through them as I can. <laughs> so you must be thinking, where am I? Because this is definitely not my house or my room, right? You're gonna find out in this vlog. So continue watching. I think you're gonna like it. Are you ready for a road trip? as soon as I'm done with these emails. Whoa! I think he rammed into the wall. Yeah, he rammed into the wall. Shit! Holy crap! The whole cinder block just came off. Oh! Oh my god! Tell me, do you believe oh, <laughs> <laughs> Only you, once a month. You. <laughs> We arrived, we're taking a break, having lunch, we're having Burger Lab. Now, if you're in KL, you need to try out Burger Lab. The burgers are amazing, and we have Habibi here. <laughs> so, today's plan. Today's plan is Russell Peters. Now, if you guys don't know who Russell Peters is, he's a comedian, yes. Canadian comedian, Canadian slash Indian comedian. 
And we're gonna watch a show tonight. I'll explain more later after I eat. I'm very hungry right now. Okay, so we are back here. Alright, so today's plan is very simple. We are going for Russell Peters because he's finally back here in KL for the second time. Third time? I can't remember. This is my second time going to watch Russell Peters, so quite excited. Now, the, the, one, the one thing I'm not really excited about Russell Peters in Malaysia is the fact that, well, it's Malaysia. They kind of restrict him from telling a lot of racist jokes and think about it this way. Malaysia has three races. Malays? Chinese and Indian so because of the race right they, you can tell a lot of racist jokes to be honest but because Malaysia kind of limits his boundaries on the kind of jokes he can tell just so he doesn't offend everybody to be honest not very very his kind of style you know so yeah uh, Russell Peters for tonight I don't think I can film the show obviously you know for copyright reasons but I am going to show you guys the area you know get a feel of the whole high place before we left we bought more mashed potatoes from the Bergelat but the plan is we are just gonna rest here because the show doesn't start for another 4 hours so yeah we're just gonna chill out rest and then we'll be on our way soon enough. I'll see you guys in a bit Most common problem of KL, Uber. Everything takes too long. Okay, we need to speed one. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, good. Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> All right, so we made it to Bukit Jalil, Russell Peters, man. Goody, goody. Hamza, you're in a shot. Uh, this is um, like side entrance. It's Russell! Russell! Goodbye, Russell! Alright, so here we are, right after Russell Peters. Now that we are done with Russell Peters, right, I did not record anything during the film because it was very very uh, strict because there was a lot of security guards like trying to like see if you even you take out your phone right they're gonna like highlight you and stuff say do not even look at your messages and stuff so it was quite strict. They not even record anything so now we're having dinner at 11.45? No, sorry. 12 16. 12 16 a.m. right now we're having dinner. <laughs> Tomorrow we are going to Gunting, so yeah. again. Dummy, dummy very good, right? And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. <laughs>